Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of painting here. Uh, some things to know about painting, you never need to do more than two coats, okay, because the human eye cannot see through more than two layers of paint. Uh, it's a big lot, painting companies want you to do three coats, four coats. I once did eight coats of paint. Of course, I was painting a black room. It was a dungeon, had chains and, and whatnot, okay, but uh, I, was, I was ready to move on from that portion of my life. So now, what we're going to do here, it's important, big room like this, very small brush, you see? So, I dip the paint, and I pick a spot, preferably not along the edge, not along the corners, not in the general big part of the wall, right about here, okay? Now, I'm going to want to match that paint over here, see, okay? Now, some happy little trees here, okay? And then a little bit of snow drift from the bottom here. Now I've just used up all the paint on my brush, okay? So now I should probably get a fresh brush because a paintbrush is only good for one stroke. You can ask Van Gogh, Picasso about that, all of them. They all know that you can only use a paintbrush once, okay? Unless, of course, you're using a pencil, which isn't a paintbrush and you just draw away until the lead runs out. But then you have to sharpen it, okay? Now, if you've ever sharpened a paintbrush, you know that it's really hard because there's so many bristles. But a sharp brush is, is critical to getting this kind of paint job done. Now this wall, I basically consider it done, okay? So when we come back, we're gonna explore how to paint ceilings, which is not as difficult as it seems, because you just turn the apartment upside down. Thanks very much, man.